Welcome to Unit 4, Measurement. The first lesson in the measurement is uh, looking at the calendar time. So ways to write the date. Okay, so this is lesson one. And um, if you look at your paper, it explains a variety of ways of writing the date. Now there's the way that we normally write the date in the classroom, and that's using words and numbers. We use both of those on a regular basis. Um, and the way that it looks in proper form is this. It has the month, and then it has the date with the TH, and then it has the year at the end, and in between the date and the year is a comma. Okay, so this would say August 5th, 2017. And this is the proper way to write a date um, using numbers and words and not worrying about the week, um, like Monday or Tuesday or whatever. Okay, so we're just focusing on month, day, and year. So this is, the, this is one of the common ways that we use to write the date. Now, we also, whoa, smart boy's going crazy. Uh, we also can write the date using only numbers, so no words. And there are three different orders that you can do this when using the month and the day and the year. And um, the first way is using metric notation. And metric notation is specifically when you go from the largest amount of time or the longest amount of time, such as years, uh, to the shortest amount of time. So that would be um, the day. Okay? So we go from month, I mean from year to month to day is metric notation. And here's an example using that August 5th, 2017. Um, here's the year, 2017. The month is the eighth month because we've got January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. August is the eighth month. So there it is. And then we write a five. And we, also, we always have it as two digits. We wouldn't just write 2017 and then an eight and then a five. We put that zero in as a placeholder to show that it could be a two-digit number. That's just part of the metric notation. Okay, and this would mean that it's the year 2017 of the eighth month of the fifth day. Okay, now here's a few more things that you need to know about metric notation, and I may have touched on it. This one says metric notation goes from the longest amount of time to the shortest amount of time. Uh, the second thing is when we write metric notation, we use two digits for the month and the day for the year. And the last thing is that some people, and this is the new part, uh, some people use digits for the year. Or two digits, sorry. Two digits for the year instead of four. Notice this is one, two, three, four digits. You can use two. You just look at the end. So I would just take 17 as my two-digit number for the year. Um, and so in this case, the, the, the date would be written as 17.08.05. Okay, now this one's a little less specific because this could technically be 1917 of August 5th. But um, this is just another way that you could write it. Okay, so this is metric notation going year, month, day. You can also go day, month, year. So that would be, this is the 5th of August, 2017, the fifth day of the eighth month of 2017, right there. Or you could put the month first and then the day and then the year. And this one's quite common to use um, in Canada, where we are, a lot of forms will have the month and then the day and then the year. Okay, and this one would be August 5th, 2017. So it's meaning the eighth month of the fifth day of 2017. Okay, so if we're gonna use numbers, this technically is the most common way that we would use it, um, but this one has a special name called metric notation. Okay, so um, let's do a practice ones, or some practice ones. So it says write the following dates in metric notation. So we're going to use the date as the four digits instead of the two digits, unless we're told otherwise. So, um, we've got, first, we've got June 28th, 2017. And so we need to write the date of the year first. So we would write, and we'll just write it in this spot here. I was kind of limited with space on this paper. Um, so we've got 2017, and then we go to the next longest amount of time, which is the month, and we've got June. June is the sixth month. January, February, March, April, May, June six months, so zero six, and there should be a space in there. I, 
uh, didn't put a very good space. Um, and then we put the date, which is 28. Hey, so we've got that. Now please pause the video and try the other two, and then play again once you're finished, and just to see if you've got this correct. Okay, so you should have this completed already, but let's do it together. So we've got April, 5th, <laughs> April 1st, 1999. So we've got 1999 would go first, and then April is January, February, March, April. That's the fourth month. So we would write 04. And then it's the first day, April Fool's Day of 1999. So you should have gotten that for this one. And then uh, for December 25th, 2001, we would write, and I'm just going to write this one underneath because I don't think I'm going to have enough room over there. 2001, December is the 12th month. And we've got the 25th day. Okay, now these are all in metric notation. In your assignment, they might not be, you'll have to watch. Um, but the year is always obvious when it has four digits. Um, and then with the month, sometimes it's obvious because sometimes um, the date is past 12. So if it's like the date, if you have a 13 or higher, then you know that that's the date and the other one would be the month. But sometimes it's tricky, like with this one. If I didn't say that it was in metric notation, you might not know if this is July 1st or if it is January 7th. But since it's metric notation, we know that this is the month and the last one is the day. So to we need to write the following dates using words and numbers. So this one would be then, since this is the month, the seventh month is July. And you can count that out again, just like I've been showing you. Start at January and count on your fingers. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, seventh month. Um, and it's the first day. Now, when we write the month or the using numbers and words, we don't need that zero anymore in front of the one. That's only when we use only numbers. Okay? Instead, we put the comma after, and then we put a space and the date. 1867. So July 1st, 1867 is our first one. Now please pause the video and complete the other two questions and then play again once you've finished. Okay, so you should be finished these questions. And so we've got this one right here. And we've got 1988. And the sixth month is June. And the date is 7th. So we write June 7, 1988. Don't forget your comma and don't forget that you don't need that zero in front of the seven. A little side note, this date, I was one day old. My birthday was the day before that. <laughs> okay, and the last question here says 2005, the 11th month is November and we've got 25th here. So we write the full word of November. 25th, comma, 2005. And then we're done. So that's the basics of this assignment. And you'll notice that um, you don't do a textbook assignment because, uh, well, we're running low. So you're just going to do a BLM for this one. And it's attached.